And a welcome back to Sports Weekly on IEMG. I'm your host, Pep Fernandez. We got some San Bernardino Valley College highlights in this segment. We'll get to football in just a moment because the Wolverines almost pulled off a huge upset. But we start inside the stadium at SBVC for a big time men's soccer battle. Norco College uh, ranked in the top 10 in the state. So is SBVC. Norco came in at number six. SBVC at number eight. They went head to head in conference play. Something would have to give. And man, this game sure felt like a playoff match. Very intense. And it got physical, as you're about to see. First half highlights SBVC on the corner kick. Could not convert there despite a good opportunity by the Wolverines. The uh, Norco goalkeeper had a big game making several key stops. Norco on the other end. The shot on frame uh, and deflected away by some good defense there by SBVC. Uh, they got some good uh, play by the sweeper. But as we told you, it was physical. It was intense. It felt like a playoff game. It felt like a championship match as these guys, uh, the, the uh, you can see that yeah, there was a player down. Uh, these guys were going hard in a very important game in terms of the state rankings. The goalkeeper for SBVC had a monster game and uh, he had to come up with save after save. That would be Adrian Munoz, the Norco goalkeeper. He turned in some great plays as well. There's Jose Garcia setting up this pass. Almost a goal there for number 11, Rolando Lombera. Jose Garcia from Cajon High School. Then you have Ezekiel Soto from San G. That shot on frame by Garcia turned away here. The Wolverines had their chances. They had some good opportunities. Adrian Munoz made some key saves in the cage for SBVC. This match was still scoreless. And check out that play. Clearing it off the line, Jesus Mendoza, number 23. That saved a goal for SBVC. It was Garcia trying the bicycle kick. Just nothing would happen on either end. This match ends in a 0-0 draw between Norco, number 6 in the state, and number 8 SBVC. We knew going in this was the biggest game in the state this week. And it turns out to be a 0-0 zero, zero draw. But for SBVC and uh, head coach Josh Brown, that's probably a good result uh, there on their home pitch. And uh, yeah, just a, a great showing by the Wolverines. Although they had some opportunities. They could have got the win in that one. All right, so that was men's soccer on Friday. On Saturday afternoon, it was SBVC taking on Golden West. Golden West ranked number eight in the entire state. And the Wolverines were that close to pulling off the biggest upset this season in college football in the state of California. They were so close. We had the game live on IEMG, but we wanted to bring you some of the highlights, specifically in the second half when it got really intense and really close. The Wolverines, they had their opportunities, but the Rustlers came away with a 20-17 to win. Here's some of the highlights of SBVC and Golden West in National Central Conference play. Ball's on the ground. It could be a turnover. Let's see who has it. The kick is up. And it is good. 33-yard field goal for number 29, Jad Othman. And it brings Golden West within one. That was a big third down play for Golden West to get the stop. It looks like SBVC will go for the field goal. Try to add to its lead. Cronus Rodriguez from Arroyo Valley High School. The former soccer star boots it up and through. And Cronus Rodriguez adds to the SBVC lead. Siri, deep downfield, the catch and the score for Golden West. That's number six, Nate Jimenez, their leading receiver on the season. If the score remains the same when the clock hits zeros, they'll look back and see some opportunities they left on the field to get points. In at quarterback, it's, it's like Cole Meisman 
We haven't seen him today, but Cole making his debut this afternoon with the game on the line. Meisman, deep, and it's intercepted by Marquise Brown. And it looks like he is inbounds, and Brown might have just sealed the deal for Golden West. Golden West will improve to 6-1 and one overall, 4-0 and oh in the National Central Conference. SBVC will fall to 1-6 overall, 0-4 oh in conference play. They'll have to snap the ball one more time, and that should be it. Brandon Seary kneels down, and 20 seconds left to roll off the clock, and that'll be it. Golden West survives, but not without a battle. SBVC... Puts up a massive fight, nearly pulled off the biggest upset in the state, I would say, this season. All right, a tough loss for the Wolverines against Golden West. They will look to bounce back this upcoming Saturday as they host Cerritos College. Once again, that is a 1 p.m. kickoff from SBBC. We will have the game live on IEMG. The Wolverines still searching for their first conference win. They thought they had it. They thought they were going to knock off and upset Golden West. They were so close. Uh, we'll see if they can do it this Saturday, get that first National Cent Central Conference victory when they host Cerrito. So I hope you'll join us live on IEMG. All right, we come back here on Sports Weekly on IEMG. we got to break down a crazy week of high school football and also look ahead to week number 10 and some of the league title and playoff scenarios. And we will also hear from Cajon head coach Nick Rogers as the Cowboys have a big game against Beaumont in week number 10. That's coming up next here on Sports Weekly on IEMG.